stand front with this microphone have to have courage because they are going to beat you down and turn you backwards because corporations have not figured how to package consciousness. Another question that I'll have right here uh, for Brother Jasiri and Brother Mustafa. I want you all to talk as members of the Nation of Islam, uh, having the opportunity to actually use your interests to actually pu put a righteous word into it. How did that grow? How did that idea for the news program that you have yes, come into being? And I want you to talk about the innovation with putting the hip hop beats behind the minister's words and others briefly as we wrap it up, okay? Oh, absolutely. Uh, uh, for me, you know, I'm, I'm like a lot of the other panelists, I, I heard about the album Minister Lewis Farrakhan through hip hop. It was Public Enemy that said, you know, Farrakhan's a prophet that I think you ought to listen to. And at the time, I, I'd never heard that name. Who's Farrakhan? And, and sort of like the brother was just alluding to, them saying that caused me to want to find out and see the album Mr. Louis Farrakhan. So when I saw him on the Donahue show, um, just to say, like, in my oil, I saw a man. I said, that is a man. That's what I've been looking for my entire life. And, and it's interesting, as I came into hip-hop, um, and, and, you know, I've been putting out hip-hop. I've been doing things in hip-hop. Uh, but um, in 2005, um, I was given the, uh, uh, the blessing uh, to uh, uh, be asked to be the student minister in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And that actually sent me on the course to where I am right now because every door that opened up to me um, is because of the work that had already put, been put in by the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. So I'm organizing for the Millions More Movement and I met a brother who Brother Jay knows well, who's the architect of X Plant Paradise Gray. I met him through organizing for the Million More Movement and we established a friendship not based on hip hop but based on trying to save our young brothers and sisters in the community. Um, I wrote when I did the, uh, the Free the Gina Six and just really briefly I think that to not make uh, it preachy, uh, one of the things that we can do as conscious artists is tell a story. And so when I wrote uh, the song Free the Gina Six and told that story, I was actually on the farm at the conference that the Apple Minister Louis Farrakhan gave um, on the farm. And it was that energy and that spirit on that conference that allowed me to then put this song out. But it was, it was first broken by a website called allhiphop.com. They loved the album Minister Louis Farrakhan and actually uh, sponsored the minister speaking to the rappers um, in 2007 after the BET uh, Music Awards. So all of these blessings and all these connections that I've been able to have is because the album Minister Louis Farrakhan put in the work and opened doors for us. So I would say to anybody, no matter what line of work or, or, or what you want to do, let people know that you, it says membership has its privileges. The album Mr. Louis Clark has made friends for us if we're not afraid to let people know that he's our friend and he's our big brother. Praise be to Allah. Praise be to Allah. So re real briefly, the idea for the news came about um, because, and, and, and my brother NOID mentioned it, I saw artists who didn't have record deals generate a buzz by using the internet. And one of the things that they were doing, they were putting out a song every week, a song every week. So I said to myself, well, I can do that, uh, but I'm a conscious artist. I want to be able to commentate on, to say something um, 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 positive, to say something um, and touch on all these issues that I saw happening. So I said, well, you know what I'll do? I'll rap the news. Um, there's, a, there's a rapper named Skills who does a year wrap up every year. But it's more so entertainment and, you know, I want to talk about the economy. I want to talk about the election. I want to talk about uh, what's happening in our community. Mm -hmm. um, and so that allowed me, as a conscious artist, that I'll do the news every week and put a video to it. And once I did that and once I began to work hard to do that, then the universe came in line. And all these doors began to open up. Like Brother JT said, if you're committed to it and you're doing it and you're using your talents and gifts to help uplift your people, a lot God will work and back you. And the last thing I saw, people are starving for hip hop with a message in it. But it's those people like um, why I said that won't allow you to, to get into that industry. Well, you know what? Don't worry about me. I'll go to the internet. I will upload my own video. I'll create my own video and connect to my audience. All praise due to Allah. This generation, these 15, 16, 17 year olds, they listen.
listen to raps like his descriptions. They live their life based on what rap said. 